I'm spending quite a lot of time on the internet trying to work out how to finish the edge of two pieces of wool together, trying different directions of whip stitching. So that's one direction which I was kind of happy with, but not overly happy with. You can see the red stitching on that side. It's okay on this side, but it is also, it's damaging the edge of the fabric, which I'm not completely convinced was right. Um, and then I tried it in the opposite direction. I really didn't like that because I thought the, if we put them next to each other, I think out of the two, the angled stitches on the yellow look better than the, the straight ones. But I kind of knew that wasn't how they looked on original coats. Um, so I developed the third method, the third and hopefully final method, which is basically this. So it's like a fake, fake well, it's not fake because it is a stab stitch or a top stitch. And maybe this is how you do top stitch on a suit coat and things. Um, so I'm working backwards, so I'm coming back on myself and then coming back up through the fabric, but I'm only catching half the yellow because the broadcloth is nice and thick. You can do it so that you don't go through completely. And if you do, it you know, if you go through more than half, you would see it, but it wouldn't be disastrous. Um, Okay, I'm getting a bit big there with that stitch, so we're going to come back a little bit. And then putting it nice and tight so that you see stab stitches from this side. You're not seeing, maybe you can see a little bit, but you can hardly see anything on that side. And see how thick the fabric is. So let's see if I can do it sideways on so you can kind of see. And that's how I'm going to finish the raw edges of my 1742 red coat with one layer being yellow and one layer being red. Like I say, I don't know whether this is right or not, but I think it gives a neater finish than the other two methods I was trying. And can you see it's not damaging that outer edge, which if you look at that, that looks really raggedy. And I don't think that's right. This looks a lot smarter. Thank you. 